Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got some plays for you today out of the Saints playbook. This is going to be uh, some plays out of the I form close. Now, this formation was really popular about a year or two ago, and uh, it still is a really good formation. I, I put plays out in this in the past uh, out of this very same playbook. I think I also might have did it out of the Jets, even though it's not there anymore. Uh, might have been in the Ravens in the past, too, but it's not there anymore now. The only playbooks that have this now are the Vikings and the Raiders. Now, the Raiders have a very different i form close than the saints it's, it's radically different it has like one or two shared plays but ultimately it's like a completely different uh formation when it comes to play so if you want to see me do the raiders uh formation out of this uh you know hit the like button and let me know in the comment section and i can do that next but as far as i'm concerned this is one of the most consistent run formations in the game uh as long as you use the right plays i mean back in the day a couple years ago i think the um the toss or i'm sorry the halfback sweep uh, was a very popular run. I don't think that it's a very good run anymore, to be honest with you. It's just not, um, you know, toss plays in general seem to get blown up. They just don't seem to, to get where they're going on time. At least that's my take on it. If you guys like toss plays, let me know in the comment section. Uh, but ultimately, um, the best plays now to me are the stretch plays. The stretch plays, which have been good in the past as well, are much more consistent. So this toss play, I can't say that I really use too much. Um, you can use that maybe, you know, I've used that against like goal line defense. It's like if somebody's running uh, something, you know, if you're inside the one or inside the, the five maybe, uh, you can run a toss if somebody really gets heavy on the line because a lot of times you'll have a speed advantage to the edge. That's about it. Uh, but in this video, I'm going to be showing a couple of run plays as well as... Uh, a couple of pass plays because this is a really good passing formation. You may notice some of these. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you may notice some of these plays. I've put them out in the past. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to uh, pick the first pa the, pick the first run play. We'll get that out of the way. And that's the halfback stretch. Before I start the video, though, I just want to thank my new sponsors at MMOXP.com. If you guys are looking to buy some coins for your Mutt team, you can do that there. And you can support me by supporting them and buying your coins through them. And make sure to use discount code MONEYSHOT so they know that you came from my site, from my channel. Other than that, let's go ahead and let's get into the video. Now, there's a couple different ways to run this. I find the best way, the way that I use it the most, is I like to flip the play and either motion over the tight end or the receiver. Now, the receiver will come in handy in a lot of pass plays. I'm going to be doing the exact same motion. Uh, but you can see how, I mean, there he didn't actually, I would have liked him to continue and get that safety, but you can see how that is effective. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to go to the, uh, the replay. Uh, but ultimately, I find that motion, snapping him, and snapping him right around the time he gets past that tackle. This is a borrowed concept from a couple years ago. People remember the toss play out of the, uh, I think it was a single back tight, um, where you can motion, and it, was, it just did a very good job. So to me, this is very similar to that. But like I said, I mean, you can see how, I mean, obviously, when he takes that uh, guy at the point of attack there, they can see how now the fullback can continue on. And it was the fullback that made the mistake. I thought it was the receiver that made the mistake. But right here, I mean, if that fullback would have continued on to that safety, I would have had a huge alley. But for whatever reason, he feels the need to double team that. I guess he knew he was getting off. I don't know. But either way, I mean, I probably could have, you know, whatever. So I had two guys blocking one guy. So that was a mistake that cost me probably a touchdown. But you can see how that extra receiver, like I said, it, it frees up the fullback to get down the field, which is going to be uh, key for this play. And like I said, a lot of, uh, you know, I, I, a lot of pass plays I'm going to show have this um, have this exact same motion. Although obviously, then I'm going to let the uh, the guy stop. Uh, which is, is not as good in the run plays. You'll see right here. I mean, it, it still helped me out. <laughs> as you can see right there, I mean, I get a very big play. But obviously, it's not the same as the motion. To me, the motion block is better. Now, here's a scenario where I could also motion over the tight end because I just want to have outside leverage. Ultimately, I like flipping the play regardless. Uh, I could also just leave it stock. You know what I mean? Like, it's fine to just run this stock because it's not a huge difference uh, if I just want to, to leave it this way so that my opponent doesn't really uh, see what's coming. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of times, motions will for, it'll do a couple things. It'll give your opponent time to set up their defense the way that they want, and it'll let them know where the play is going. So you can always run in stock. It's very successful. And you can see how the successful this is. So like I said, right here, I have, I have the outside edge. That's all I really need um, to make this play successful. And then you can see, I mean, I'm breaking off, you know, 15, 20-yard runs every time. 
Now, because the tight end's on the one side, you cannot motion over this receiver. He doesn't go anywhere. He, like, takes a few steps in. So that's not really going to help you out. Uh, but ultimately, uh, like, in a play like this, uh, you know, that defensive end being as wide as he is, that might actually make it to the point where I have to run up inside. As you can see, I've done that in the past. So there's not, it's not always an outside run to the edge, even though it's a stretch, it based off of the alignment of the defense. My first read on this play is, do I have... Um, does my tight does my tight end have outside containment like he says right here? He does he's outside of the furthest box defender So I could just run it like that. That's my first read when I'm deciding what I want to do with this play So then my st my second read here We got to cover three safety So obviously the stock way is gonna be the way again But then my second read is going to be if I don't have that can I get a numbers advantage by motioning across the receiver? Now, if it's a man coverage, motioning across the receiver a lot of times will give you uh, the edge by running it as is. But here, obviously, we have a zone, so that's not going to do that. But ultimately, uh, it's really simple. So here we have, you know, once again, stock is going to be the way. I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to run it as is. Like I said, my blocker set up pretty good. And I'm averaging, you know, running at stock, you can say I get a lot less. Obviously, I'm getting a lot more if I flip it. So here's a scenario. We have a double safety blitz, most likely. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to run it. Um, you know, run it the opposite way, see if I can get through that blitz. And you can see right there, I mean, I almost get caught up uh, before I, uh, you know, it's like I said, double safety blitzes. You're getting blitzed by extra defenders, so it's going to be a little bit of a tighter, tighter crease. So we'll go ahead and we'll just run it a few more times the opposite way. We'll force it, even if that doesn't work. Here was, I finally get that man scenario, though, which is what I was talking about. Now, I wish I could flip the playback uh, without actually having to motion back the receiver. But you can see, if your opponent is running a lot of man coverages, uh, you can see how just coming out in the stock formation and then motioning across this receiver will give you a huge edge to the opposite side. So be aware of that. This is going to be a really good uh, man-beating man play if you run it, uh, you know, if you run it the second variation. So I'm going to get into a couple of pass plays uh, to end out this video. Um, a couple different ways you could do it out of the drag wheel. But I'm really going to show uh, the, I'm gonna show the drag wheel first because you guys probably know this play. If you've been watching my channel enough, you probably know this play. Uh, just put your best or your fastest receiving back uh, at the fullback spot. Who really wasn't doing his job too great in the run plays anyway. And then we're going to go ahead. We're going to pick the drag wheel. Uh, we'll continue with just random 4-3 on defense. So, I mean, I can do the same motion. You know what I mean? If I want to, I have the option. Uh, but ultimately, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to deal with that too much first. First, I'm going to do my my favorite setup, which is just motioning out uh, Kamara. Now, it's a small motion; it doesn't go very far, but you're going to see how that really makes a difference. So, I mean, I, I pretty much every route on this play is going to get open, by the way. But the RB route, you can see how he just steals to the flats. I mean, I'll take that all game. That was the that's an easy 10 yards right there. That's some of the easiest yards you're going to get, especially if it's a cover three. I mean, you can see he just kind of shoots out of here like he's like he's on a, like he's a rocket. And if he's if it's a, if it's a, a man coverage, you can see how you can wait till he turns up field. That was I don't know if that was a man zero or a man one, but you can see how it has success. So Kamora's route can beat two different coverages: man coverage deep uh, once it turns up, or it can beat um, you know cover three underneath. Now the X route here is a very good check down the other side. Um, as you're going to see, he also pulls coverage down for the tight end, what the tight end's doing. Uh, but there's a really a couple different concepts going on here. My first read is always going to be the running back. Uh, but if I want to focus on Ginn and Cook, uh, that's a pretty good look right there. I mean, if you have a cover two like this is right here, you can see how they drop down on the, uh, on the drag route and get the tight end open. So that's a really good cover two look. Uh, Ginn's a pretty good cover two and a cover three look. I mean, that, that will get open between cover two safeties and up cover three seams a lot of times. But right here, you can see, once again, we have another cover two. So you can see, if you, as long as you can pre-snap read your defense a little bit, you're going to have uh, a really good beater for just about everything. So like I said, if I'm reading cover three, like obviously this is a single high safety. It's either a cover three or a cover one man. It uh, looks like a man coverage. Uh, I'm not sure I mean, I, if I read that right correctly or not, but you can see he still got outside of the zones regardless, so I still make the play there. So like I said, pre-snap read, man or cover three, we got the RB route from reading cover two. Um, you know, it, obviously A and uh, the X route coming across are going to be very good. You can see right there. I mean, that's just really good cover two route. Like I said, the one, I almost scored twice on that. Oh, the one coming up the middle, again, coming up the middle is pretty decent too. I just haven't run into a scenario yet where I'm going to use that. So, like I said, blocking the running back is probably the only thing I'm going to do. The only thing I'm going to change. Here we got that man coverage, so we just got to buy some time. And, like I said, I think that was a man one based off of the single high safety double teaming the uh, crossing route. But you can see how explosive this is. So, let's go ahead and let's do this a few more times. Like I said, I'm pre-snap reading cover two. It is not. We got to cover three. So, I have to go right back over to my running back. Make a nice move upon catching it. And we're going to get an extra ten yards. But you can see, I mean, this can be a very explosive play. If I were to do anything for personnel, I'd probably flip uh, Ginn and Thomas. 
I'd rather have my possession receiver running the B route um, than, than the, uh, oh wow, running back's wide open there. Um, yeah, but I'd rather have, um, I'd rather have my possession receiver running the, uh, the, the, the deep route and having Ginn running the, uh, the X route, uh, obviously. That just makes more sense. Um, as far as the speed, but like I said, I could I could be throwing. I feel like a couple of these passes I could be throwing possessions catches like right there. I could be using my size to my advantage, and it's still there because you can see that was a cover three. You can see how that will beat cover three if your opponent starts using the running back because of it, it beating their cover three. Uh, they will start doing stuff like that, and then right there, obviously, he doesn't have the speed to get through that. So that play had a lot of cover two concepts in it, but one of my more favorite ones would be the flanker drive. So let's go ahead and let's pick that. I'm gonna I'm gonna continue to pick random, but uh, it's mostly cover two play. So all I'm gonna do is motion over Gin. I mean, what he's doing with that drag is already pretty much a cover two concept. But if I motion him over and put him on a flat route, to me this makes it that much of a more dynamic play and a lot quicker. Now there, that was I don't know that throw was kind of off, but he still got there. I thought it was gonna be incomplete. Um, but you can see how. You know, I'm also blocking my running back once again. I, I'd say putting the RB on a comeback route would make the most sense. Um, or putting the uh, the running back on a comeback route. One of those two makes the most sense, and I do that quite a bit in my gameplays. But putting him in a concept like this, he's either going to be open right off the bat, uh, which is if it's like a cover three, he'll get open for a couple of yards, or um, it's going to be the, 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 the deeper route. It's that simple, you know. What I mean, it's not really a whole lot to this. So I can flat route them coming across. Like I said, I can I can have either one of my running backs. Like the ones that check and release, I prefer just the regular comeback route. We said there, they're following. They follow back right away. I'll take that. I'll steal that for as much yards as I can get. And I have the right personnel with my speed guy in that slot position now. I can motion snap him too. I don't have to wait for him to get set, so it looks a lot like the run plays. And you can see right there, if you do it at the right time, I mean, he's getting out into the flats a little bit faster because he's already accelerating. Motion snapping this receiver really is more about confusing your opponent than anything. It's not necessarily about, you know, making it that much more successful of a play. So here we got that man coverage finally. We haven't seen that too often. That's obviously, that's your man view, that's your cover two. And uh, obviously your, your flat route is your cover three. Um, pretty much a solo. I mean, it's a cover three. It's also a decent cover four. You know what I mean? Like, because any off coverage, really, you can see how we're having success. We're getting 10 yards easy off of this. I mean, it's an easy play. So any off coverage is again, man or cover two is the uh, is the X route. So here we go once again. Like I said, he's just getting outside of that really fast. You know what I mean? Because of that motion. So really simple setup. So that's it. Three plays, uh, passing and running. Really good scheme. If you guys want to see more Saints, do me a favor with the like button, and I'll do that next. Other than that, thanks for watching. I'm Lee Shout. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.